YouTube, what's up? It's your boy here, Community Fiber, aka the real Ric Flair. And today's video is on this badass gaming collection. I just got I paid 50 bucks for everything in this tube. $50. So first, we're gonna put this bag to the side and I'm gonna show y'all what's in it after I do all of this. First off, we got the Atari 5200 controller here. Pretty nice right there. Everything seems to be functioning pretty well. Got all of that. Then we got another one right here. Everything going good. And these are original Atari controllers here, not aftermarket. We got the Atari 2600. We got one of these. What's this? We got another Atari 2600. We got PlayStation 1 demo discs with two in each case. So these are pretty cool. They're in great condition as well, by the way. I'll make a video on what's on these once I get to testing them out. Boom. Another one. The PlayStation Underground packs. Well, let's get into more of this here. We've got a Sony PlayStation 3. Open it up. It's a little dirty on the inside. But remember, I only paid 50 bucks for everything that's in this tub. So we got a PS3. We got connectors for the Atari. We got PS1 controller. We got Atari 2600 controller here. So far, everything seems good. All original Atari stuff. A PlayStation 2 controller. Atari power cable. Another PS2 controller. A PS3 turbo controller. Aftermarket. Then we've got one PS1. So far, everything looks okay. Not too dirty. AV audio cables, PS1 memory card, another PlayStation 1 console, doesn't look that dirty. So right there we've got basically tripler money. Right here we've got, I believe this is the 83 model, Atari 2600. Everything looks good so far, a little dirty, a little dirty. Right here we have another Atari 2600 wood body with the antenna still hooked to it. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Right here we have another Atari 2600 and this one, I don't know why this one's black, not quite sure. I believe this one may have been used for parts, I don't know if it runs or not, but the switches are gone except for the color and black and white switch. Nonetheless, we got another PS1 memory card. Then right here we have an untested Atari 7800 Pro system. This one I'm more the most interested in. Got a big chunk right there in it. And it says untested, but we'll see how it goes. Still pretty excited about that. Some more, I believe this is a PSP charger. Another Sony AV. I have no idea what that is, but that came with it. And another Atari cable. And then right here in this bag, I'm going to get into this in a moment. These discs here. Another Atari 2600 controller. Another Atari controller here. So not only do we have the system, so we got the actual full-on controller system here too. The video touchpad, Atari as well. When I first seen it, I thought it was Coleco. I didn't know Atari had these. Another Atari 5200 controller. That looks pretty nice. Another Atari touchpad system. Then we've got another Atari 2600 controller, but this one seems to... Has something loose in it. Another Atari controller. 
Yet another Atari controller. Yet another Atari controller. This one seems to be perfectly fine. And then we have... Ooh, the power cable. Okay, this one will go to... I'm hoping it'll fit in here. Darn, it might not. Okay. I don't I didn't think it would, but let's just see if it goes here then. No. Okay, okay. Fair enough. I'll have to tinker around, see what that goes to. Then we got the antenna for the Atari there. And two more PS1 memory cards for $50. Got all of these systems, all of the accessories, all of the memory cards, all of that. And the four games. Now this right here, I'm really, really happy for. These are from the Sega Dreamcast games. Now these are demos, but nonetheless, this is from the official Sega Dreamcast magazine. And I only paid $1 for all of these. And I could probably easily get $10 a piece for these. Boom, we got that right there, which comes with the 4X Evolution, 18-wheeler, OutTrigger, Max Steel, which was a great game for the Dreamcast. And it's got five Jurassic music videos on there. Sweet. Then this one has the F355 Passion Rosa and Sega Marine Fishing. KO the Kangaroo, Rainbow Six, which is pretty good. And it has Fantasy Star Online, Evil Dead, Hell to the King, and includes the web browser, Sega Net. And this right here has the Kiss game, uh, Psycho Circus. 